This was one of my recent yard sale finds. The main blade was badly corroded. The smaller blades were in better shape. I started working on the main blade with a 120 grit belt in my 1x30 machine. Here it is after sanding. The pitting was severe. I went over the main blade again with my coarse conditioning belt. Here it is after the coarse conditioning belt. Some of the pitting was just going to have to stay. This was as nice as I could get it with the medium maroon conditioning belt. There were some deep scratches in the main body of the screwdriver. I had to use the 120 grit belt to get them out. The end of the main body was mushroomed. So I added a chamfer. I also cleaned up the cap and added a chamfer. I used a small file to deepen the decorative grooves. I went over all of the brass with the medium maroon conditioning belt. The knurling on the main body was really nasty. I tried to find the best angle to clean it up on the fine wire wheel. I used a wire wheel in my Dremel on the smaller parts. These round brass brushes work for the two larger screwdrivers. I used steel wool and a drill bit on the smaller parts.
I use my plastic abrasive bristle wheels on the three smaller screwdriver tips. I think they did a decent job. All right, let me take you back to what this nesting screwdriver looked like when I brought it home from the yard sale. And here it is now. The main blade was so pitted, I decided to blue it and the other blades. I think the blued steel looks good along with the polished brass. I went over the brass with super fine steel wool and Chuck and I polished it with flits. I gave the brass a couple coats of wax to keep it from tarnishing. I prefer waxing polished brass over adding a clear coat. It's easier to repolish and re-wax compared to stripping off a clear coat if the brass begins to tarnish. Nesting screwdrivers are cool. I always keep an eye out for them at yard sales and flea markets. Chuck and I get a kick out of polishing brass. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I included Amazon links for some of the products used on this project in the description.